Welcome to part three of LA. We're gonna tour some studios, have some great food, and come run away with us. This is the final installment of Los Angeles, part three. The yes. trilogy is over. <laughs> um, we start off at uh, Warner Brothers, where we actually had um, a VIP package, so we had lunch there. So we're gonna include that as our eating. Um, and then we're gonna show you a few other things as well. But I thought it was a, it's a great way to wrap up our whole experience in Los Angeles. Yes, we had a great time touring two studios while we were there. And one of them was an actual surprise, yes. and we'll get into that later. later. Started off at Warner Brothers. Um, there are different packages you can do. We did a VIP package, um, which included food, which we didn't uh, know at the time, but we were excited about. Yeah. Um, so you kind of all mill together all the different groupings and they have you kind of wait, but you get to go to all different kinds of sections. And, you know, it was awesome. We started with a little Warner Brothers movie and it's hosted by Ellen DeGeneres. Um, and they had, you know, the costumes from the recent Justice League movie. And they fed you breakfast. So and they fed a little, little yeah. little breakfast before you go. This is kind of their jungle area where they've done some shows. Then you go into the neighborhoods where um, they actually use them as offices when they're not filming, but they yeah, filmed that's stuff. This was uh, Uncle Jesse's farmhouse at one time. Um, but this is the whole downtown area where it was um, the finale of Seinfeld, but also Hazard County. Right. Um, so it was kind of cool to see the gazebo from all those different episodes and stuff like that. But oh, yeah. it was funny to see some of the landmarks around the square right. that have always been there, um, but we didn't see. Like this is from Shameless. That's, I guess, Chicago Bar. Um, and then you'll see the back of that bar in a different area, which is I thought was kind of cool. That is funny. Um, this was a school for Grease, the musical TV. This is the Growing Pains house, um, which is right off the square. And then right across the street from that was a whole neighborhood of houses. Right. Um, so even stuff that they had like a little church and where it looked like one side was one type of church. Some people remember the prom video from Friends, and that's where Ross sat when Monica and Rachel were getting ready for prom. Um, this was actually the kitchen of that house, which was right. used different for other shows. So it's kind of cool that they built these houses. Um, that was City Hall for the Batman TV show. It was also in the movie Argo with uh, Ben Affleck. That's right. But it was just around the corner from that little neighborhood town. So this was the city section. And then that fountain, most people will know it from friends that's right and they even let you sit on the couch um, the couch is not soft it is hard so it stands up to the weather but we got to sit and cuddle on the couch in front of the fountain and it's nice that the your tour guide will take pictures for you absolutely and then you move into further into different city areas where they can dress it up however they want um, this is the back alley it was in one of the spider-man movies that's also from the back of shameless so that earlier scene at that red bar that's what used the back of the bar right so this is the alley area it was also used in batman returns or one of the batmans i don't know but this is like a <laughs> the townhouse section and then we went in to eat in the commissary yeah that was a really fun experience for us yeah everything was included in the tickets um it was a limited menu um you had the but you get an appetizer, I had uh, corn chowder soup. I had a little Caesar salad. Then I decided on the pepperoni pizza. And I had a chicken Caesar salad, correct? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and it was kind of cool because you saw different execs there. Right. Um, and you got dessert also. Yep, selection of desserts. Uh, and it was cool to see the head of uh, the television studios as well as the movie departments. And we saw Chuck Lorre who created yeah. shows like um, Big Bang Theory, right. Mom, um, Two and a Half Men, all those shows. He was just a table away eating lunch. Now, yeah. they say you can't film. Right. I was allowed to take pictures of the food I asked first, but you I couldn't. can't give a resume. Yeah, you can't walk up and give your resume. <laughs> but you could, also didn't want us um, filming or taking a picture of right. the diners. And we appreciated that. And yes. we followed the rules. We then go into a section where they showcase the current Warner Brother movies. Um, so a lot of costumes and stuff like that. That's from Aquaman. This is from Wonder Woman. Um, so it was kind of cool to see not only the size of them, but also something that was just in the movies. You can also see how tall people are or how small they are, just depending on the actor or actress. 
Uh, but it was really neat to see all these costumes that were used in yeah, all these Chris, different movies. Yeah, Chris Pine and Gal Gadot's costumes from Wonder Woman. This is the villain from the Aquaman movie, and then we moved into the Harry Potter section, right. which was really cool because they had the different sets, but also costumes and just different just props from the movie. Right. So these are all the professors from the, their costumes from the very first Harry movie. Potter yep. movie. Um, and no, that's not my costume, that's somebody else's. <laughs> um, this is for the three kids, and then when they go and play some of their different activities and stuff like that, I'm not <laughs> as well versed in Harry Potter movies as everybody else who watches this, I'm sure. Um, but it was just cool to see all the different costumes and then even some of the newer um, non-Harry Potter but still the same thing. Right. And then you go to the friend stage and then we went into the prop section where this is from A Star is Born. Um, but you get to see furniture and then you'll see yellow tags and those are things that are tagged for upcoming uh, productions like right. the TV show, TV show Lincoln Lawyer was mm -hmm. tagged. This is the West Wing desk and also any political stuff. If you need a phone from any generation, you have it. You get it. And then we went into the Batman vehicle section. So all the different Batmobiles from the recent movies. Um, this was the one for Ben Affleck. This one, I have no idea what plane that was from. But Drew had a lot of fun in this section. I did. He's I'm a big, a big Batman. Batman fan of all the superheroes. That's kind of my <laughs> thing. Um, so this is the, from the Christian Bale Tumblr Batmobile. So it was just kind of crazy to see the size. And then my favorite, the Michael Keaton Batmobile. So Tim Burton's Batman was one of my favorites growing up. Oh, yeah. um, just because it had, had enough humor, but it was still dark. And it was just cool to see the vehicle up close. I saw this when I was a really little boy at the uh, New York car show, so it was cool to see it again. Um, and I just had a good time. The lighting wasn't great, but it was a good time in there. And then we went into some of the different friends and right. um, just the different little props and uniform costume sections. Yeah, I think this was like the last section that you go in uh, after your, when your tour is pretty much ending. Uh, so you get to see a lot of different costumes, and um, this was obviously from the movie um, Star, is Born. Star is Born. So Bradley and, Cooper and Lady right. Gaga. And this is Lady Gaga's dress from right. A Star is Born for when she won Best New Artist. Right. Um, but it was really great, and uh, so you couldn't touch everything, but there were some things yeah. that you could touch, mm -hmm. and we're going to just get into that, and now we're going to head over into Central Perk. Oh, yeah. Which is from Friends. Yeah, so they have that whole Central Perk set uh, set up where you can sit and take a picture. Um, you can do different poses. They, they give you free pictures or you could do a more paid for glossy picture. Um, I even went back to Gunther's section where the coffee and the treats are. And then you got to see the different classic costumes mm -hmm. and uniforms, obviously. Um, Humphrey Bogart from Casablanca. Yes. And then all the different uh, ladies uh, from the different movies and stuff like that, and then My Fair Lady. Oh yeah. So that was kind of cool to see their size, and then this, if anyone watches Big Bang Theory, you know this area. Oh yeah. Yeah, you get to see Sheldon and Leonard's apartment. Um, you even get to kind of walk around it a little bit, not in every section, but some no. parts of it. Um, but it's another area where uh, you can take a picture. Yeah, okay. absolutely, yeah. And you can kind of just see how big it was here. And I, I noticed you didn't mm -hmm. sit in Leonard's spot, which was very smart. Right. But you did pick up one <laughs> of the comic books and have a gander of what they like to read. Yes. Um, this is the cafeteria, which was just on the opposite side of the apartment. Penny. 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 I'm just going to go to Sheldon and Leonard's instead. Okay. Betty. Betty. We were just having a little fun on the Big Bang <laughs> stairwell set. Oh, yes. So if you don't know what that's from, watch one episode of Big Bang Theory and you'll get the joke. Oh, yes. They have the Christopher Reeve cape from Superman, as well as stuff from West Wing, like the goldfish from C.J. Craig's office. Uh, then we drove around downtown and just kind of oh, took yeah. in the sights of L.A. 
So this is Union Station, right? Which is still operating train station, but they use it in all sorts of movies and television yes. all the time. Um, the architecture is just amazing in this building. Oh, so beautiful! Absolutely. We can see why they built. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and you know, it's funny because they've used it as banks, they used it as train stations, they've used it as bus stations, they've used it as a. Uh, airport, right? Um, so you know, it's one of those architectures that it lends itself to different things. And then right outside is just another like little garden waiting area, which I thought was great. Amazing for being an actual train station. Yeah. Have that there. And then there's City Hall, oh, obviously, which is you know from Dragnet and other shows. Um, but we just drove through all of downtown, and we just wanted to see some of the sights. And then we thought, hey, why don't we head over to Sunset and yeah, get some stars? Exactly. So we saw some stars, just the ones on the ground, more than up on right. the, in the world. <laughs> so, um, but it was great to kind of walk through the section. We went to one area. Um, we didn't walk the entire Sunset Strip. Right. But uh, you got to see some star and uh, Adam Sandler. Right, and it's nice that if either way you're walking, you can see them you know, from the direction that you're going. So it's kind of nice that um, you don't have to walk just one way to see all these stars. Yeah, I agree. got back in the Jeep and then continued down Sunset. Uh, we thought we'd see a few things. We tried to catch the Hollywood sign, not Aibo, but we saw where they do the Oscars. Yeah, Dolby Theater. And uh, that was kind of cool. And then just down from that is the uh, old iconic theater that we actually saw in a replica. We actually saw a replica of it at MGM Hollywood. That's right, in at, Florida. In Disney World. So that was kind of cool to see the actual one. Yes. And it's not even five months later and we got to see the real one. <laughs> we headed over to Universal NBC to visit a friend of mine from my first job outside of college. And this was a surprise to us. This is the Superstore set. Yeah, we were amazed that they had this right when you come in the gate. <laughs> yeah, and it's uh, where they shoot the outside of Superstore. Yes. Uh, then we went, visit with Jessica, who's got a very important job at Universal. And Jimmy wasn't there, but his costume was from right. Return of the Jedi. <laughs> uh, she took us on a tour around the back lot area, parts of it which are part of the NBC Universal, or excuse me, the Universal tour. Um, this is from... The Good Life, that was the town square, and then this is the Jaws section. So you can see the tour yes. going on. Uh, so that's the tram that you take during the Universal ride, and we were kind of following around behind it. Right. Um, but this is the whole little... Um, so it was a, it's great to have a different experience of, we've done that actual ride yeah, before. to see it from the other side. Now we get to see it from a golf cart. <laughs> uh, this is from Parenthood, that's where Erica Christensen's character lived. But it was great to see all this little neighborhood, a little different than Warner Brothers. Yeah. I thought this more felt like an actual neighborhood that you could film in. Yes, um, agreed. Less trickery. And it was kind of cool with different California architecture, but also different architecture for different areas. Right. And it had all these gigantic full-size houses. Oh, yeah. Um, so it was cool. This was the Wisteria Lane for the Desperate that's Housewives right. show. show. Uh, shoe. Um, so you'll see the tram following because they obviously talk about that. Um, anything? Yeah. <laughs> no, it was just really cool to just see this tour and see these gigantic houses. I mean, you would think that people live here um, as we're driving by, but you know, they're just all meant for TV and, and movies. Yeah, and commercials. They do a lot of commercials. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, Jessica was telling us that they had just finished shooting a commercial in one of the sections we were at. Um, so that was kind of cool. Um, I, I thought seeing like the playgrounds and you know tree houses and stuff like it felt like an actual neighborhood yeah. as opposed to a, a closed set where they do filming. They put a lot of detail. Um, Absolutely, and I noticed that there some driveways had front doors, some front so like a lot of them had multiple front doors so they could kind of change the way the house looked. That's right. From different angles. Uh, this is from Whoville well, that's from right. the Grinch Who Stole Christmas, um, the Ron Howard movie which was uh, with Jim Carrey. So it was yep. kind of cool to they see that, that still place. set up. Yep. And then this was a motel that we did not want to check into. No. He looked very serious. Yes. Uh, it's funny, he stayed in character the entire time the tram was in visual. So if you think that he drops the act just because you're out of the way, nope. 
Um, so we got to drive. The house was actually up the hill from the motel, just like in the movie. Uh, but look, he's still, still in, character in character there. Then this was from War of the Worlds. Yes. Um, this was the big plane crash scene. And it uh, wasn't in the movie very long, but this was very intricate, this whole oh, yeah. section. So um, I hope I never see a plane crash, but I'm assuming this is what it's going to look like if I ever had to. Oh, boy. Yeah. It was... Uh, and it, the tram had just gone through, so there's still smoke and a little bit of fire. Yeah, it was kind of cool for us. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so, yeah, you just have that whole plane crash section. Then this is the different, like, where they have it look like a city area. And then the biggest thing, which was really exciting for us, is right here is the gas station of Hill Valley for Back to the Future. Yes. So that's the courthouse that the lightning strikes. She took us through some sets. We got to meet E.T. And then a big, hairy King Kong. <laughs> so it was cool. The other thing in this prop section was they set up living rooms and, like, yeah. tables and everything so that you can kind of picture it, like, how a designer would do it right, when you're picking out pieces. Yep. So that wraps up Los Angeles. So that's yes. part three. It's all wrapped up. We had such a great time <laughs> when we were in L.A. Uh, we had a lot of good food, um, saw a lot of great things. I mean, we hadn't been to L.A. in many, many years. So um, just to be able to see old friends uh, while we were there was a great experience. Absolutely. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, if you haven't, please do. Um, it doesn't cost anything. We appreciate it. And then give it a thumbs up if you want. Leave a comment um, if you'd like to. Absolutely. Hit the bell for notifications. Yeah, we would definitely appreciate it. Next up is another area, so stay tuned for next week. Yes.